What's up guys? Today is day 118, April the 28th. The one year Bible folks, Judges chapter 8 verse 18 through 9 verse 21. Luke chapter 23 verse 44 through 24 verse 12. Psalms chapter 99 verse 1 through 9. And Proverbs chapter 14 verse 9 through 10. I do want to read this psalm today. It's it's a, a shorter psalm. Uh, it's just nine verses here. But it's it's really good. Verse 1. The Lord reigns. Let the people tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is exalted over all peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is He. The king in his might loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also was among those who called upon his name. They called to the Lord and he answered them. In the pillar of the cloud he spoke to them. They kept his testimonies and the statute that he gave them. O oh Lord our God, you answered them. You were forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Our God loves us. I mean, it's obvious with, with the, the power of this psalm here. He loves us. And, and it says that uh, it says he, he loves justice. He establishes equity. He, he executed justice. But you, you see these people that he's redeeming and talking to and using in this psalm. He wants to redeem, use you and I. But... Our sin comes at a cost. Ultimately, our sin cost him his life on the cross. We're getting close to uh, finishing up Luke. The cross. A daunting thing that Jesus wept and, and blood comes, comes out as he's crying so hard and sweating and and praying and asking God, if there's any other way, please, can, can we do this? Let this cup pass from me. But you see, there's no other way to God but through Jesus. Why? Because our sins separated us from Him. And somebody had to pay that price. And it couldn't be you or I, because what are we supposed to do? Die in our sins? Dying in our sins leads us to hell. Jesus died in his perfection for our sins and then rose again on the third day so that through him we could conquer death and have life eternal. So yes, yeah, sin comes at a cost. Eternally we're covered by Jesus, but temporarily there's, there's consequences for our sins here too. If we sin, we, we end up disrupting our lives and the lives of those around us, our choices impact more than just ourselves. I went to a call the other day and the whole thing stemmed around this man having an affair and, and because of that, his life and family ends up getting all torn up and then the life and family of this other individual to the point where some folks ended up committing suicide and and guns have been pulled on each other and assaults have transpired and words have been said and it's not a good thing and what caused that sin sin caused that you no know, sin is a very destructive thing and there's earthly consequences for any sin even the most minor sin there's consequences. The little white lies that some people like to call me. You go around giving white lies. What are you? A liar. 
And the people that find out you're giving these white lies, they know you're a liar. So it diminishes their trust of you. So eventually when it comes time where they need to believe you, there's that question in the back of their head. Does he really mean this? Or are they saying that because they think that that's what I want to hear? You see, sin has consequences. And we reap the consequences of our own sin. People around us reap the consequences of our sin. But sometimes we end up reaping the consequences of others' sin. So what am I saying? I'm saying this world is broken and messed up. I'm saying I'm broken and messed up. You are broken and messed up. So what should we do then? Do our best to seek Jesus' healing, His guidance, and His forgiveness, and His strength to do the right thing. And secondly, seek getting Jesus into the lives of those around us. Because ultimately, He's the only life raft from sin. He's the only perfect one. And we each, whether we realize it or not, Need some more of Him in our lives. Take care of yourselves.